Today I'm going to show you how to test a 4-pin relay on a Honda. In this case I'm going to test a, a blower motor relay, but just about all Honda 4-pin relays are very similar. Um, the pins might be switched, but the testing is basically the same. You just might have to switch the pins when you do your test, that's all. Alright, now it helps to know the layout of the uh, circuit you're working on. In this case, this is the uh, blower motor circuit on a 2012 Honda Accord. And as you can see, right here you got battery positive, and the power goes through a 40 amp fuse and it goes to the number one pin on that blower motor relay and you can see it's open there's a switch in there and then it'll continue on to the blower motor and then you got another leg that goes through your ignition switch and goes through a seven and a half amp fuse and then comes over to the pin number four on this relay this is your control side so when you turn your ignition on this powers up the coil on this side of the relay the control side and it creates a magnetic field and that magnetic field will pull the switch closed and so when you listen closely when these are energized you will actually hear it click and that what you're hearing is the magnet closing that switch and once that switch is closed it completes the circuit completes the power in this case over to the blower motor so on this vehicle here when you pop the uh, relay out and just you can just gently pry them out. Some, most, usually you can do it with your fingers, but sometimes you need to use uh, um, some kind of pliers or something to pop them out. Just be gentle with it. When you pop it out, this is what you're looking like inside the fuse box, in, inside the uh, socket of the fuse box. You will see pins one, two, three, and four, just like that. With the key on, you should check pins one and pins four for power and you should check pin 3 for ground. Um, you don't want to be chasing down a relay problem when really your problem is you don't have power and ground on those that circuit. So as you can see, pin 4 is your control pin, so you need the key on for power to pin 4. And then once uh, power is supplied and grounded by pin 3, that's why you need to check the ground on pin 3, then that will energize the circuit and complete this circuit right here. So you need to have power on one, power on four, ground on three. So I'll show you how to check that right now in the fuse box. As you can see, I just pulled the relay out. This is where the relay for this blower motor lives right here. You can see it's just a standard four pin relay. And you can tell which side um, is the control side and which side is the low si load side by the color of the pins. These smaller ones are the control side. These fatter copper colored ones on Hondas are going to be your load side. So that goes right to the um, component that you're powering up. And in this case, I'm going to do this test with my power probe. And so you can see with the key on, I should have power right here. You can see I do. I should have nothing right here. And then I should have ground over here. And then I should have power right here. So you can see. I got my power and got my ground, so I know this circuit is good. Now we just need to test the relay. And as you can see, this is how the pins are laid out right on the relay. So all we need to do to test this relay is we need to supply power and ground just like the car is. So we'll put battery positive to terminal 4 here. And we'll put negative uh, or body ground to this terminal 3. And then once we do that, We'll put our own meter on terminals 1 and 2 and we should have continuity. If we do and we hear a click, then we know this relay is good. If we have no continuity and we don't hear a click, then the relay is bad. And on some models, when you're doing the testing, these pins 3 and 4 might be flopped and these pins 1 and 2 might be flopped. You can just look at a diagram and see which side. You should be able to tell pretty quick which side goes to the small fuse and which side goes to the, sm to the large fuse and that gives you a clue on uh, which one is your control and which one is your load. As you can see I have the uh, test set up. I have power and ground already connected. I'm using my power pr probe to supply the power in the ground. You can easily, just as easily use jumper wires on your battery to supply power and ground to your relay. Um, just remember to use fuses if you're going to do that so you don't fry anything. But I have the power connected to pin 4, like that. I have the ground connected to pin 3. And then I have my voltmeter hooked up to pins 1 and 2. You want to set it on ohms. And this one is uh, auto-ranging, 
so I don't have to worry about the settings but if you don't have an auto ranging make sure you set the settings up pretty high so in its off state like this you should have an open just like that the circuit is not complete and then when we supply power like I'll do right now you should hear a click which I did and then you can see my voltmeter is showing 0.2 on the ohm scale so that means this is good and if I turn it off it goes back open so this relay is working correctly and that's how easy it is to check your relay you just need to supply power and ground to it and make sure it's working as you can see checking a four pin relay on a Honda is not very difficult just make sure in the socket area you got both of your powers and your ground with the key on of course uh, on most systems or with the system energized like in the case of air conditioning you need to make sure the air conditioning buttons pushed and then on your relay just make sure you apply power and ground to the control side and make sure the load side has continuity and if it does then your relay is good that's about how easy it is to check not very difficult you can do this if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up thanks for watching